Hello and welcome to another episode of the Nomad Challenge. For those of you joining us in this episode, this is Chad and we are currently in a pantry room inside a food market in Riverside where we just spent the night. It is currently 7.20 am and we have killed 46 zombies. We have also managed to level up our light-footed and sneaking abilities quite a bit since the beginning of the challenge. Despite being super injured, as you can see, our right arm is still burned and our left forearm is also still burned, which means that our melee swings are not going to be that effective against zombies yet. Now let's take a look in our head injure. Ha! It seems that our intensive care is finally starting to pay off. Okay. We just managed to get a car and a trailer, but the catch is that we are still low on gas. So our top priority for today is going to be heading out to the gas station downtown to see if we can top our car with gasoline. And from there, I also want to visit the US mail service facility since it is packed with all the books and magazines we might need in the future for this challenge. I'm running a couple of mods that need a specific magazines, so that's always a priority. Also, I wanted to check the hardware store since we badly need a propane torch and several other tools for fixing our car. Another wishful thinking I have for this trip to the center of Riverside is finding a belt to carry our weapons and have easy access to them. And I will also like to find 10 packs so that we can assemble a tent kit because I'm thinking you guys are not going to be generous with me for the next week's challenge. And if we don't get a tent to spend the night in case we have to get to New Ekron by foot, I will definitely die, literally. Also, we're going to visit the police station, of course, hoping that we can find a lot of guns and ammo. And, and speaking about guns and ammo, I'm guessing those cars must be packed with weapons and we're definitely looting those as soon as possible. If all our plans for today go well, then we'll have the first poll challenge and we'll be heading down to New Ekron in the next episode. That is, of course, if we don't get killed today, but let's see how it goes. Would you take a look at that? That's a Derumba. That car alone could mean our salvation, because you know what? That car can be modified, but we'll talk about that later. First, let's deal with these zombies. And it seems that the gas station is free of zombies now, so let's give it a try. Yeah, we got gasoline right now. Things are looking so much better for us now. And we are also going to fill our empty gas cans. Okay, and after that little detour, we have six full cans of gas, a large can of gas, and of course, our gas tank is full as well. Okay, we already looted that store and we found a bunch of goodies such as cigarettes and food and whatnot but now it's time to loot those cars. Would you take a look at that? We have a box of 0.308 rounds, a box of 9mm, a box of shotgun shells and a mint condition JS2000 shotgun. Okay, and in the second car we have two boxes of 0.308 rounds, a box of 5.56 millimeters, and another box of shotgun shells. And we also have a new rifle. Okay, we practically won the lottery there, but it is getting pretty late and I still want to check up on that the Roomba. So that's going to be my priority now, let's see how it goes. 
Oh no. I wasn't paying attention, but there is a big, big horde down there guarding the, the Roomba car. And now we are going to have to deal with them. Luckily, it seems that only one zombie came after us. So maybe we're good to go. Bye bye. So we have a big horde guarding the Darumba. Let's try to kill them one by one, as we always do, at least until we get our hands healed. Nice! Another level of light footed. By the way, guys, I know you probably know about this, but if you step over a zombie, they won't be able to stand up again. So it is a nice way to crowd control your zombies. Always keep it in mind. And by the looks of it, it seems that our injuries are getting better. I feel like we are hitting faster and our swings are getting stronger. So hopefully, one of these days, sooner rather than later, we are going to be completely healed. Okay, let's see if it works. Nice. And just at the first try. It doesn't have any gasoline, but that's not a problem because we have plenty. But what we don't have is plenty of time because we have a bunch of zombies approaching and it is already 8.20 p.m. and we still haven't found a place to spend the night. So I'm guessing that should be priority number one for today, for the rest of the day at least. Door flashing, guys, is always super important. Never forget that. Okay, so we have our chair for tonight. So I guess I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning and welcome to day four of our challenge. First of all, we're going to take a look in our injures let's see how they're doing and our first injure we are still burned what about the next one are we being lucky or what our hand is fully healed and you know what that means right it means that zombies of riverside better watch out okay so goals for today we are currently here in the spifos that is in front of the police station we have already looted the gas station and also the supermarket that's on the western part of riverside the food market and the bar that's all the spots we have been uh, so far but what we need to do now is starting heading down to the east because exactly in this point there is a warehouse I want to loot and if I'm not mistaken in this exact location we will find a pharmacy which is huge in terms of this challenge for today we're going to be focusing on the police station and also I want to take a look on that the Roomba we saw earlier that car is extremely important to us because it holds the potential of being upgraded this means that you can add a ball bar you can add spikes you can protect the windows and it can be completely modified as opposing to you know the vanilla cars but let's take a look on the mechanics of the vehicle and as you can see the engine condition is actually amazing 87 percent the battery is also in pristine condition 70 percent the gas tank is also good although it doesn't have any gasoline but overall i would say this car is is really great 
Now let's take a look on the improvements we can add. Um, if you want to do that, if you didn't know, you just have to click the V key and hit modifications. And as you can see, we have the possibility of adding ball bars, especially this one. This is the one I'm going to be aiming for. Of course, we need a propane torch and several metal sheets. So we need to improve also our metal working and mechanics. But you know, as a long term goal for the challenge, I think it will be a great one. One thing I just noticed is that this car's carry capacity is laughable. It only holds 19 pounds, so we will have to make do with what we have. Luckily, we still have that trailer car in the, in the other side of the city, so I guess we will be relying on that one. And also, we only have a single seat, which makes it more of a challenge of course but man we cannot pass on this opportunity of having a modifiable car as our main base of operations as a nomad we are going to fill this car with gasoline and also i just noticed one more thing will you take a look at that we have a cool interior as well. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't know this car had that option with the RV interiors mod, but it is great. It is awesome. It is a game changer for us. Basically, this is our new base, guys. And of course, let me clarify that this place at itself does not count as a building. It counts as a vehicle, so we are allowed to sleep in here, uh, but we will talk about it later in more detail. In the meantime, we have more important things to do. Hmm, what do we have here? It looks like a motorcycle and it looks gorgeous. How many zombies do we have here? We have at least five zombies. We have one in common and we have a whole other bunch over there. And it looks like one is holding. What? Oh my god, what was that? F Man, I'm still shaking from that jump scare. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That is the whole reason why I styled that mod. Okay, that was easy. Aside for the massive heart attack I almost had, we have more cigarettes, a walkie-talkie that we are going to disassemble, and we're definitely grabbing this water dispenser, but I'm gonna do that later. Let me disassemble this door. And what do we have here? We have two boxes of shotgun shells, 308 box, and more shotgun shells and 308 boxes. We have an extra box of 9mm, another box of shotgun shells, a box of 762 by 39mm, another JS2000 shotgun, a couple of magazines, and a 9mm pistol. Guys, I think we hit the jackpot here. With that being said, and with me getting drowsy, and we did getting later in the day, the thing we need to do right now, I guess, is bringing back our trailer here so we can move all our things from the from the pickup car to the Daruma. Okay, and we use this time to pick up some things we left in the store, in the supermarket, and in the bar that we needed for our journey. And those things are now in the trailer. So, with it being really late, it's 9.20 p.m. And with me getting really tired and drowsy, I think it's time for us to go to sleep in our new RV base. Hello and welcome to day 5. Let's take a look on our left forearm and let's see how our burn is doing right now. I think I'm about to cry. We are finally completely healed. It took us a whole week, but we finally did it. And after that major improvement to our quality of life, I think I'm gonna head out to the gas station once again to transfer all my inventory to this trailer. I'll let you guys know if anything happens in our way there. Okay, I hear a zombie. Ah! 
No, 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 no. Oh man, I just thought that I could push her even if I had my backpacks equipped in my hands. I guess that was a rookie mistake because she definitely attacked me. She didn't beat me or injure me luckily, but we definitely suffer some damage to our clothing. Oh, but we're fine, we're fine, we're good. I've never experienced something like that in this game. Oh, but there's a first time for everything. Okay, let's try to transfer all the, all the loot we still have. It's almost half a day and we're still working on transferring our loot. We have plenty. And another thing we need to start worrying about is the helicopter event. It is currently day five and the helicopter event might be just around the corner. Okay, okay, okay. We finally finished transferring all our loot from the pickup to the trailer. We have plenty of loot, but we are still missing some important things. For example, we still need to go to the hardware store in Riverside for a chance of getting a propane torch and some other important tools. We also have to go to the pharmacy and to the US mail service facility because I want a bunch of books and magazines. So yeah, you know what? We are going to grab this new car and go downtown and loot everything we possibly can. Some things we have against us, mainly time and of course the big hordes of zombies, which hopefully we don't encounter many. Oh, but yeah, I spoke too soon. And of course we have to face a massive horde just to get by where we need to go. And I guess the only thing for us to do is, well, try to dispatch them. Okay, so things are getting crazy back in the main street in Riverside. It is crowded with zombies and we have a bunch of hordes. So I just decided that maybe it was a good idea for me to try to enter some of the stores from the back area. I am now trying to enter to this clothing store in the hopes that we can find finally a belt and maybe some new clothing because my current one it's gotten torn apart and we didn't find a belt or anything particularly useful other than this nice jacket and I think I'm gonna keep it I liked the other one better but I think this one will do as well okay and we're getting oddly tired so I think it's best if we go back to the Derumba maybe rest for a while in there we could read some books and magazines and after that, tomorrow we will resume our journey to downtown Riverside. I mean, we got pretty close. We got really, really close to downtown. We didn't manage to reach the US mail storage facility we wanted to visit, but we got pretty close. And with that, we're going to end the episode here. Next episode, we're going to face our first poll challenge. And I'm guessing it is not going to be an easy one. That challenge is going to take place until we reach the city of New Ekron. So I guess reaching that city is going to be our new priority number one. My main concern is that we didn't get important tools we needed such as the propane torch or more melee weapons and of course the much needed belt. And on top of that, the helicopter event is just around the corner. But I guess all of those are problems for future chat. So in the meantime, I'll be reading books and resting for the day that's ahead of us. And with that, 
Don't forget to tell me in the comments which type of challenge you'd like to see take place in future episodes. And if you enjoyed it, the video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more Project Zomboid guides and related content. And as always, happy surviving! Bye-bye!